Hi, I'm Tanisha and you're watching this video with JustTutors.com. Today we are going to learn about trigonometry and in this video we'll first learn about trigonometric ratios of complementary angles and then we'll learn about some sample problems on it. So before we move on to the topic, let us try some warm-up questions first. But if you want to try the questions by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answers later. So question number one says, in a right angle triangle ABC, right angle at B, if AB is equal to 8 cm and angle ACB is equal to 45 cm, 45 degrees, determine the length of the side PC and AC. So we know that AB is equal to 8 cm and we know that angle ACB which is this one is equal to 45 degrees. Now need to, we need to work out the rest of the sides. So we need to apply the ratio of sine theta here and then we can work out that hypotenuse which is AC will be equal to 8 under root 2 centimeters. And with the help of Pythagoras theorem then we can work out that base which is CB will be equal to 8 centimeters. Let's move to the next question which is in triangle PQR right angle that R, PR is equal to 5 cm, PQ is equal to 10 cm, then determine angle QPR which is this one and then angle PQR which is that one. So we know that PR is equal to 5 cm and PQ is equal to 10 cm. So first of all we need to apply the Pythagoras theorem and we can work out that base which is QR is equal to 5 under root 3 cm. So now we need to apply the ratio of sine theta and we can work out that angle QPR is equal to 60 degrees and angle PQR is equal to 30 degrees. Pat your back if you've got all the answers absolutely correct. Congratulations! Now let's move on to the topic. So we'll be learning about the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. So if we are given with the right angle triangle ABC which is right angled at C. So first of all we need to search for a right for a pair of complementary angles in it. So we can work out that A and B are two such angles whose sum will be equal to 90 degrees. Hence, we know that A plus B plus C is equal to 90 degrees and we can work out that angle B is equal to 90 degrees minus A. So if ever during solving the questions of trigonometry we get across an angle which is 90 degrees minus A, so it is nothing but the third angle of that right angle triangle. So first of all let us write it down here that angle B is equal to 90 degrees minus A. So now we are knowing about the three angles roughly that is 90 degrees that is 90 degrees minus a and that is angle a so now we'll be finding the ratios of all those trigonometric functions with angle a and angle b respectively so first of all let us work out that the side that is opposite to angle a is equal to bc whereas the side that is adjacent to angle a is equal to AC. Likewise, we can work out that side that is opposite to angle B which is nothing but 90 degrees minus A is equal to AC and side that is adjacent to angle B which is again nothing but 90 degrees minus A is BC. Now we'll be finding the ratios accordingly. So we are working with sin A first. So we need to have a look on this one. Sin A will be equal to BC over BA. Then cosec A will be equal to BA over BC because that has to be exactly opposite of sin A. Then we'll work with cos A which is CA over AB. Then of course sec A would be AB over CA. Then we'll be working with tan A which is BC over CA and then of course we can find out cot A which will be CA over BC. Now we'll be working with the angle 90 degrees minus A so we need to follow these sides. So we know that side 90 degrees minus A would be equal to CA over AB and cosec 90 degrees minus A would become AB over CA. So we'll work with cos now so cos 90 degrees minus A would be BC over BA. And hence sec would be PA over BC and we can work out tan is AC over CB so we can work out cot that has to be exactly opposite of it so that would be CB over AC so we have found out the ratios of all these trigonometric operators with angle A and 90 degrees minus A respectively 
and if you notice we have found something which is sin a is equal to bc over ba and so as cos 90 degrees minus a that means cos 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a likewise we can know that cos a is equal to sin 90 degrees minus a likewise we can work that out that tan which is bc over ca is equal to cot which is bc over ca and similarly we can work out that tan 90 minus a which was ac over cb is equal to cot which was ac over cb and likewise we can work out that cosec which is ba over bc is equal to sec 90 degrees minus a which is ba over bc again and then we can work out that sec a which is ab over ca is equal to cosec 90 degrees minus a which is equal to ab over ca so we have proved some complementary angles equal here so let us recall them here on a slide separately that says sin 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a cos 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a tan 90 degrees minus a is equal to cot a and cot 90 degrees minus a is equal to tan a likewise we have worked out sec 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a k cosec 90 degrees minus a is equal to sec a so we need to always remember these equalities because we need to use them in the questions further so now let us move on and try some sample problems so question number one says if sine 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 degrees where 3a is an acute angle find the values of a so find the value of a so we are given that sine 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 so first of all if we want to find the value of a so it means at some point of time we need to equate the angles and then we can do only if we have the operator equal so we'll try to change the right hand side a little bit so we'll be writing that sin 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 minus 90 degrees at 90 degrees so keeping that in the same sense as given in the question so the next step would be sin 3a is equal to cos 90 degrees minus 116 minus a so we are using these two and that a in this bracket and that 90 degrees is right here same now the next step we know that cos 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta so we can write down right hand side as sine 116 degrees minus a so the equation becomes sine 3a is equal to sine 116 degrees minus a and since we've got the operator same so we can equate the angles now so 3a becomes 116 minus a we can work out the value of a from here which will be 29 degrees so this is the required solution of this problem let's move on to the next one which says express cot 85 degrees plus cos 75 degrees in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 and 45 so first of all we know that we haven't learned about the specific angles 85 and 75 so we cannot put the value straight away however we know that 85 is complementary to 5 because the sum is 90 then so we'll be changing the angle slightly we can write down cot 85 as cot 90 degrees minus 5 and cos 75 as cos 90 degrees minus 15 so we know that cot 90 degrees minus theta is tan theta so we can write that down as tan 5 degrees because theta is 5 in this case and likewise we know that cos 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta that can be written as sine 15 degrees cos theta is 15 <laughs> so we've got the two new angles which are 5 and 15 and they both are equal to 0 and 45 hence this is the required solution to the problem now we've got some practice questions for you if you want you can pause the video and try all the questions by yourself but do not forget to match your answers right here Thank you for watching the video. For more, please log on to justtutors.com.